Hello, 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 and happy Monday. Happy Monday. Today, let's talk about distractions and do they stop you? I'm Clarice Warner, the girl with the pearls, the founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key. And on this channel, we provide you with information tips and strategies on how to become a certified marketable medical coder. Um, welcome to our live Motivating Monday Messages. The purpose of our Motivating Monday Messages is to give you some encouragement, inspiration, and motivation for the week ahead. Just a little food for thought as you are uh, going through, through your, your week and, and through your day. If you are new to our channel, please click the word subscribe to become a part of our community. Feel free to look over our videos as you may find some useful and valuable information, things that you probably didn't even know that you needed to know. <laughs> Whether you are joining live or listening to the replay, comment on our videos. If you are watching us on our uh, Facebook live, then feel free to click the hearts or likes or whatever those different uh, uh, emojis are. We would appreciate that. Um, if you are, again, coming on and, and particularly if you're joining us on the replay, um, comment. Comment on our videos. Let me know that you were here. I love to know your thoughts. And believe it or not, you may be surprised because if you comment, I generally add comments um, into future videos. So you, you'll never know when your name may pop up in one of our videos. So feel free to comment. Also, uh, if you would like to be notified of our videos, click the little bell and you will get instant notifications when we post videos, also when we go live. And again, don't forget to like our Professional Reimbursement Network page. So I really miss seeing you guys, <laughs> or not necessarily seeing you, but being here with you guys during my vacation. Um, I, I got a little nervous because I thought maybe I'm becoming addicted to the live thing. <laughs> but I really did miss um, talking to you during our live sessions and I was thankful that I was able to put together a couple of videos while I was away. Um, I did one little live one so you could see us actually on vacation, but I really missed you guys. So I hope all is going well with you. Um, believe it or not, we are here at the end of January. The month is just gone. Um, what they say, time waits for no man or no woman and it truly doesn't. So I hope that you are continuing to take baby steps to achieve whatever goals it is that you have set for yourself. So again, today we're going to talk about distractions and do they stop you. But before I get started, I would like to thank you for your comments on our last couple of uh, videos. We had the demonstrating the respect you demand and the 2018 MLK and vacation videos. And on the demonstrating the respect you demand video, my good friend, <laughs> Chant Magic, who seems to comment on all of my videos and I do appreciate it, um, commented, I don't demand respect, I command it. I come into situations where I'm expected to perform prepared. That is my secret weapon. I am prepared and organized and feel comfortable handing off my deliverable. Also, I am flexible and adaptable, which means that if revisions, modifications, etc., are required, I embrace that and run with it. For me, getting respect comes from being confident in my competence. I love that quote, and I probably will use that sometime soon. Uh, people can see when you feel good and they respond to that. And that was just fabulous. Loved it. Kentucky the French Angora Rabbit said, I like the idea of only demanding the best for myself. Yes, yes, yes. 
And lastly, Lakeside Table said, you are so you are so spot on with internalizing respect as a form of self-love. Excellent. So thank you all for also sharing your MLK experiences and how you celebrated the, the holiday. Most of you said you learned a lot from the video, um, a, a, a lot from the information that was presented in the video. Dr. Drew said he spent the day teaching our kiddos about MLK Jr. Yay! <laughs> Again, thank you, thank you, thank you all for watching and commenting on my videos. So today we're talking about uh, distractions and do they stop you? So in today's age of instant access, it is easy to become distracted. For me, I have to be intentional about my time as I manage all of my business and personal endeavors. My prior life as a single parent of three, working full time and in school taught me the value and the importance of time. Folks sometimes think I'm trying to be funny when I suggest to them um, that I have to schedule things on my calendar so they want to meet for this or they want to you know catch up for that and I'm all for that I just need to have it scheduled out <laughs> my calendar is what keeps me from being distracted and being sane my calendar aids in my focus and one of my favorite D words discipline keeps me on track even on vacation, I will schedule the things that I want to get done, especially if I want to give it 100% of my attention. And that's important to me um, because I really want to put in, you know, get out what I put in. And if I put in 100%, then I'm, I'm expecting to get out 100%. So again, that's really important to me. So what is a distraction? A distraction is something that prevents someone from giving full attention to something else. Distractions can keep us from being productive. There is so much outside noise in the world. We have outside noise of pings and dings that notify us of this or that. We also have outside noise of people giving their opinion, good or bad, and even well-intentioned it can still be a form of distraction. That well-intentioned opinion could stop you from trying something new, from achieving your goals, even believing that you can achieve the goals that you set. Do you hear outside noises? Are they a distraction for you or, or do you just tune them out? Gary Vee said in one of his talks, uh, it is hard to be affected when you can't hear anything. Do you agree with that? I do. If you're not hearing it, it can't it can affect you and you can keep moving and doing whatever it is that you're doing. So someone asked me about uh, multitasking and, you know, I really think multitasking is overrated. It may allow you to begin several tasks, but usually you never complete a task fully or provide the focus or attention that a task may need. So you, while you may be doing a lot of things at one time, are you really doing them well? Are you completing them well? And again, are they getting the full attention that they deserve and that they desire? I, I usually think about that, like your children. <laughs> you know, if you're if you're trying to do so many things at one time with, with your children, are they each getting the, the attention or, or, or what they need from you? And probably not. So if you take some time to spend some time with each one of them individually, then maybe they'll be getting what it is that 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 they need. I don't know. Just something that I, I thought worked well with the uh, thought of multitasking. So I don't think it's a, it's good if you want to do something well. I, so I try to stay away from multitasking and I try to uh, focus on and complete one project at a time. I've already given you uh, one of the ways I keep from being distracted. So let me share another. To keep me from the pings and dings and keep them all at bay, <laughs> especially when I'm in uh, a creative mode or heavily involved in a particular project or um, just working to complete something that I've started, I actually turn on the airplane mode on my mobile devices. 
it has been a saving grace for me. Um, especially when I need an hour or two to fully concentrate, I just turn on airplane mode. I don't get the dings, I don't get the pings, and I can fully concentrate. Now, what I have to learn to do uh, a little better, maybe, <laughs> is to not intentionally go out and look for the notifications. But that's another subject <laughs> for another day. So again, uh, you know, Stopping that noise takes me back to the Gary V quote because it's hard to be affected if I can't hear it. And so if I'm not hearing those pings and dings, then it's all good. And um, I can focus on what it is that I have in front of me and complete it. So distractions can keep us from being productive. They can keep us from our end results. And we don't want that, do we? <laughs> we must not let the outside noise keep us from the goal. And remember to keep your eyes on the prize. I always say, stay in my lane and run my race. That is primarily what I do. And so even though you may see little things or could potentially be distracted because you're watching someone else or you're trying to follow someone else or you're trying to mirror someone else, if you stay in your lane, you know what it is that you need to do. Those things won't distract you and you can, uh, you know, get to where you need to be. So let me ask. What strategies do you use or tips can you share to stay focused and not be distracted by outside noise? Let me know in the comments below. Quote time, quote time, my favorite time. So let me share with you some quotes that I found regarding distractions. Uh, Thelma, or Thema, I'm sorry, Thema Davis said, say no to distractions so you can say yes to your destiny. Love it. You can't do big things if you are distracted by small things. Starve your distractions and feed your focus. Robin Sharma said, distraction is the greatest thief of time. Work hard or work is hard. Distractions are plentiful and time is short. Adam Hochschild said that. A distraction is not a distraction unless you pay attention to it. Distractions destroy action. It is not moving you. If it's not moving you toward your purpose, then leave it alone. Jermaine Riley said that, and I think that probably was my favorite. <laughs> so if you are curious about how easily distracted you are, I found a quiz that sort of tests you and um, your distractibility, if you will. So check out the link in the description box for, for that, um, that little quiz. And you can check it out yourself and see, you know, how easily or, or not easily distracted you are. So again, check out all of the links in our description box below. We will have information on our uh, free five steps to become a certified marketable medical email course, our certified marketable medical coder and friends Facebook group, and more information on um, the outside noise and distractions. I pray that this information was valuable and helpful for you. Um, it's, it's always a, a joy and pleasure once the thought comes to me of what it is that I want to talk about and then doing the research. I always find some, some, some interesting information and I try to convey that in the videos and share that information with you. Um, again, if you thought that this information or found that this information was valuable, feel free to comment, like the video, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's stay connected. Hit that subscribe button. Again, join us next Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we will have another live motivating Monday message. I'm Clarice Warner, the girl with the pearls, the founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key providing you with information to help you become a certified marketable medical coder, reminding you to be safe, be kind, and don't wish for it, work for it. Until next time, take care.